Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn an Airport Extreme into a time capsule by simply adding an external hard drive. Now the funny thing about this process is that if you go to any Apple store or if you call their 1-800 number and ask their employees, can you just plug a hard drive into an Airport Extreme and turn it into a time capsule? 99% of their employees will tell you no. That's what a time capsule is for. Now, if you're not familiar with this hardware, a time capsule is a rather expensive device. It's made by Apple, of course, and it has two different functions that it serves. It's both a Apple wireless router, which is very, very strong, and it's also a wireless backup system because inside this little box there is a two or three terabyte hard drive. Now, it's a great device. I strongly recommend it. I sell quite a few of them, but the problem is what if you already own an external hard drive. Do you really want to have to buy another one just to make it wireless? So today I'm going to show you how to take your own hard drive and make it wirelessly back up your Mac. Now if you've never ever set up an Apple Airport Extreme, make sure you go to our website at pcclassesonline.com and check out the video we produced only a couple weeks ago called How to Set Up an Airport Extreme Appropriately. So let's get started here. Now. Before we actually begin, I want to give you a few little tips that are going to make this setup process a little bit easier. Not all of them are necessary, but it's going to make it a little easier. First, I want you to click on your desktop so that it says Finder here at the top. Next, go into Finder and go to Preferences. Now there's two different settings that we're going to enable in Preferences. The first one is under General. And I want you to check this box right here that says Connected Servers. We want to make sure that that is showing. The next is I want you to go into Sidebar and do the same thing. It's here under Shared and it's called, once again, Connected Servers. Make sure that's checked too. Now as you're doing this, you're going to need, of course, an external hard drive. Uh, you can find our recommendations on our website. And if you've never plugged it into a computer before, you're going to want to format it just to make sure that it is in fact formatted for Mac. So I want to show you briefly how to do that. Some of you may already know this, but not everyone does, so I want to go over it. So here on my desk, I have an external hard drive, and I'm just plugging it in right now. It should pop up on the screen in just a moment. Great, okay, so you can see here, I've actually already renamed it Time Capsule, but I'm still gonna walk you through the process of formatting your hard drive. So th what we're going to do is we're going to go to the little spyglass up here at the top right of the screen. That's actually called Spotlight. And type in the word DISK, D-I-S-K. The first option should be Disk Utility. We're going to click on that. And that's going to show you your hard drive set up here. So what I want you to do is look for the one here that has the same icon as what you see over here on the right-hand side. It's going to be orangish. It should say the, how big the hard drive is. I'm just going to click on it. You want to click on the one on top, not the one on the bottom. And now to the screen to the right, we're going to click over here on Partition. Change the partition to 1. Make sure that under Format, it must say Mac OS Extended Journaled. Now you can type in whatever you want the name of your external hard drive to be. I'm going to call it the same thing. I'm going to call it Time Capsule. Also, make sure you go down here under Options and click and set it to GUID Partition Table. Now just simply click Apply. And finally, Partition. Now it takes about 10 seconds for this to take place. It is going to wipe out all the data on the hard drive, so obviously if you have any data on there, make sure you transfer it elsewhere in the, in the process of doing this. Okay, it's just finishing up. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to, once this is finished, close out Disk Utility, eject that Time Capsule hard drive. Now, there's two different ways you can do this. I thought I'd give you a little trick today. You can drag this into the trash, or a fast way to do it is as long as you click on it, you can hit Command and the letter E on your keyboard, E for eject and it will release the hard drive. You can't just unplug hard drives, or for that matter, flash drives from your computer. You need to eject them first. So now what you're going to do is you need to plug that external hard drive into your Airport Extreme. I'm going to do that right now, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, we're back. I plugged that external hard drive into the USB port located on the back of the Airport Extreme. Now let's continue. We're going to go here into Finder down at the bottom left. And you should see here under Shared something called Airport Extreme unless you've renamed your device. Now if it doesn't automatically log in, you can just simply, let's, let's do that for you right now. I'm going to disconnect. You click Connect As. You'll have to type in the password to your router and hit connect. So now at this point we have the folder here called Time Capsule. What we're going to do is we're going to actually double click on it and you'll notice that when you do that here it shows up on your desktop thanks to the settings that we did at the very beginning. Now from here it's very very easy. We can close out this finder window, go to the Apple icon at the top left of your screen, go to System Preferences, at the bottom right, you'll find Time Machine Preferences. Now, I already back up my hard drive to a local hard drive, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you, in my case, how to add a second backup, but for most of you, this will be a primary. Make sure that Time Machine is set to on. You want the on to be green. Click Select Disk, and now here, under Available Disks, you'll see Time Capsule on Airport Extreme click Use Disk. Now, most of you won't see this screen here. This is just because I already have a backup, so I'm going to click Use Both. It's going to ask you to once again confirm the password to your, uh, sorry, to your router. Hit Connect, and voila, you have just turned your external hard drive, plugged it into a Apple Airport Extreme, and you now have a time capsule. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Very few people seem to be aware that you even can do this. Um, if you enjoyed this video, one easy, easy tip you can give us is if you don't mind clicking the little like button should you be watching this video on YouTube. And of course, please do be sure to check out our website at PCClassesOnline.com. That's all, everyone. Take care.